We are dealing with summation notation here and just getting used to what a summation notation means. Let's just remind ourselves what sum is. Sum is addition. So we have an add problem going on here and then we just go ahead and follow through with the format that they give us. So what this is telling us is this tells us where to start. So that's our start. And where we end at. And then we have to go through all the entries and we go through uh, T-H-R-O-U-G-H. We go through all the entries up until there and we are adding them. We are doing a sum as we fill in it, each entry. So what this is saying is that we will take the N minus one type function and we'll plug a one in first then uh, evaluate it. Then we'll plug a two in and evaluate it and we'll add those together. And we plug a three in and we add them all together. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that would look like. So here's the first one. Uh, let's go ahead and just dive right in. So when n is one, so I'm plugging one in for n. So remember, all we're doing is we're replacing on that variable right there. So the first one is one minus one and that's when n equals one that's the first entry so all you're doing is plugging the one in for n right here because that's where we start at we're doing a summation that's what this symbol tells us is that we add them up and then what comes after one we go uh, in numerical order so the next entry is two so we're plugging a two in so an n equals two we have a two in for n and then there's the minus one that pairs along with it plus and then n equals three. You're plugging a three in for the n, so that's a three minus one. So that tells us that we're adding up all the entries from one to three, so that's one, two, three, for this function, plugging it in on each one and add them up all together. So that would give us one minus one is zero, two minus one is one, three minus one is two. So I got the answer of three here. So this function equals three. All right, let's go ahead and see if the next one's any different. Let's go. All right, so same game here from one to two plugging it into this function. So I'll go ahead and use my skeleton format on this one. So we got our, whatever J is, gets squared, then you add one plus, so this is for uh, J equals one, the one's gonna go right there, plus the next entry, whatever J is, gets squared, we add one to it, and then that's when j is equal to two. And it's the two that goes inside there. So we'll just go ahead and evaluate it. Uh, let me go ahead and switch colors. So it's a little bit easier to see. So that a one is gonna go in here and a two is gonna go in here. Do our order of operations. One squared is one. One plus one is two. Plus two squared is four. Four plus one is five. So I get the answer of seven here for this solution. And if you need to, you can uh, expand it out or do a little more arithmetic uh, that wasn't too bad on simplifying these. So uh, you can kind of figure out with what the difficulty of the problem is and how you want to approach it. Is the next one any different? Uh, looks the same type of structure.